Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into an extraordinary discovery that challenges everything we thought we knew about black holes. Imagine a scenario where an object defies the immense gravitational pull of a black hole, emerging unscathed. Well, hold on to your seats because that's precisely what we're exploring today. This object, ladies and gentlemen, is the first survivor of a black hole encounter. But before we delve into this groundbreaking revelation, let's rewind a bit and understand the conventional wisdom about black holes. Black holes, those enigmatic cosmic entities, are notorious for their immense gravitational pull, so strong that not even light can escape them. Anything that ventures too close is assumed to be inevitably consumed by their voracious appetite. That's why the notion of anything surviving a black hole encounter seemed implausible, until now. Recent observations by astronomers have revealed a fascinating anomaly in the vicinity of a supermassive black hole. A celestial object, believed to be a neutron star, was observed in an elliptical orbit around the black hole. Astonishingly, despite being dangerously close, this neutron star not only survived but continued its orbit, seemingly unaffected by the black hole's immense gravity. So, what does this mean for our understanding of black holes? Well, it's safe to say that we're just scratching the surface of their mysteries. This discovery reminds us that there's still so much we don't know about these cosmic juggernauts and the forces that govern our universe. This isn't just another black hole video, I promise. We all know that nothing can escape a black hole, but is it possible for something to do so? If you were to fall into one, what would actually happen? The answer will probably surprise you, and it won't be what you expect. Additionally, recent research suggests that the object we initially believed to be a black hole in the Milky Way galaxy may actually be a tesseract full of bookshelves, the home of Cthulhu, or something entirely different and enigmatic. It's pretty safe to say that we have no idea what a black hole is, what's going on inside, or if it's something else completely. It's not like we can directly image one, but at least we can now get images of their huge shadows in space. In 2019, astronomers grabbed the first ever image of a black hole, and a new polarized image shows powerful magnetic fields wrapping around a huge black hole shadow. This supermassive black hole is some 55 million light years away from us and is bigger than the entire solar system. We're going to use this massive black hole for a simulation that involves you and a friend, but we'll get to that in a bit. You know the whole thing about nothing being able to escape a black hole? Well, is this really true? When a black hole eats up a star or a bunch of gas, they generate a powerful flow of high-energy particles close to the event horizon, the ring of fire called Hawking radiation at the edge. And if a black hole is really chewing on something like a massive star, powerful X-ray jets shoot out, and the black hole becomes a quasar, the brightest objects in the universe. Who says light can't escape it? Well, now we have another argument about nothing being able to escape a hungry black hole. This is due to the fact that astronomers managed to photograph a neutron star in an elliptical orbit around a black hole that survived being completely swallowed. Despite this, the dead star was not spared from the black hole, instead, they were able to witness the black hole's massive X-ray flares as it consumed the star's material. The star is trapped in an elliptical orbit around the black hole for nine hours, during which time it rips off more of the star's material and grows larger. Despite its efforts, the star will eventually run out of fuel, so we can now appreciate just how powerful these objects can be. You may be wondering which one is the closest to Earth, and if so, it's in the constellation Monasteris, and scientists have named it the Unicorn because it's the smallest black hole ever discovered and also the closest to Earth. At roughly 1500 light-years away, it's not going to swallow us up anytime soon because black holes typically don't move, instead, they sit in one spot and eat up anything that comes too close to them. However, this is a scary thought nonetheless. In 2021, researchers got a big surprise when they discovered a supermassive black hole racing across the universe at 177,000 km per hour. The big mystery is that astronomers don't know why the black hole, which is 3 million times heavier than our sun, is speeding through the center of the galaxy about 230 million light-years away. Now that sounds crazy and it sounds fast, but in 2017, 
scientists clocked another supermassive black hole hurtling through space at 7.2 million kilometers per hour. An enormous force would have to be responsible to get these things moving through space that fast, maybe what we are seeing is the result of two black holes colliding, the massive collision sending the other flying wildly through space. So now we've all learned what happens when something gets too close and is sucked into a black hole. So what happens to a person and could you survive the trip? Now we've all heard that if you somehow get sucked into a black hole, you will be stretched out, spaghettified, maybe even crushed, or, well, you get the idea. This might be true if the black hole was small enough, but a black hole, let's say, 30 to 100 times more massive than the sun, that's where reality becomes really strange. That's a lot for the mind to process, so let's start with a thought experiment. At the beginning, we said we were going to run a simulation involving you and a friend. Let's say that you both signed up to go on an adventure to the nearest black hole. In one of these realities, you would be burned, and in the other, you would plunge into the black hole and fall through it without being harmed. How is this possible, you ask? Well, a black hole is a place where the laws of physics break down. Einstein claimed that gravity warps space itself, causing it to curve. This is where it gets weird, as you accelerate towards the event horizon, your friend will see you stretch and contort as if they were looking at you through a giant magnifying glass. But as you get closer to the horizon, you appear to move in slow motion, and as you reach it, you remain there motionless, stretched across the surface of the horizon, and the heat begins to engulf you. Your friend will see you slowly obliterated by the stretching of space and the ring of fire called Hawking radiation before you have a chance to cross over into the black hole. Nothing about this adventure makes sense to you because you would sail straight into the menacing black hole without even a scratch, let alone slow stretching or scalding Hawking radiation. This is because you are in a free fall and don't feel gravity. If the black hole were smaller, however, you would have a problem because gravity would be stronger at your feet than it would be at your head, stretching you out like spaghetti. However, something far more massive than our sun would have forces so small that you wouldn't notice them. The sad and lonely part of this adventure is that you would live out the rest of your life fairly normally until you reach the singularity. But what's wrong with your friend, and why are they telling everyone that you've been barbecued to a crisp? Because of the laws of nature, which demand that you remain outside the black hole from your friend's perspective, and quantum physics, which stipulates that information cannot be lost, all of the information that accounts for your existence must remain on the outside of the horizon. However, the laws of physics also require that you sail through the horizon without being fried by hot particles, otherwise, you would be in violation of Einstein's theory of general relativity. In other words, you were actually burned to a crisp on the horizon. The black hole information paradox is the name given by physicists to this mind-bending conundrum, which some of you will now object to because it seems nonsensical. However, in actuality, there is no paradox because no one ever sees your clone, your friend only sees one of you, and you only see yourself. It doesn't matter if we try to send someone or some spacecraft inside a black hole to relay back some data, once inside, there will be no way for a signal to get out, and you will be lost forever, but what an amazing trip it would be. Neither of you can compare notes, and no one really knows what happens. What about the enigma surrounding the black hole located in the center of the Milky Way galaxy? For years, it was widely accepted that Sagittarius A is a black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. However, some astrophysicists from Italy now say the object, which is as big as 4 million suns, might not be a black hole after all. The reason is that a huge gas cloud came close to the black hole. The gravitational forces of Sagittarius A should have eaten the cloud, but the cloud of gas survived with an issue, could it be the home of Cthulhu? Well, while we love to joke about this, the answer might just be as mysterious. Some scientists say that the center could be a big bundle of that incredibly elusive stuff they call dark matter, which is invisible and thought to account for 80% of the total matter in the universe but cannot be detected because it doesn't interact with light. Now scientists have proposed that black holes themselves could be formed out of dark matter, which would explain why they can form so quickly before the galaxies around them, and one day that might be proven to be true. We're starting to find out more every day, and tomorrow we might find out everything we thought we knew is wrong, so make sure you stay tuned here so we can discover the universe together.